This next tip literally took years off of my life trying to figure it out. I can't believe that it took me so long. But if you've ever used a big VST or big plugin like Cinematic Studio Strings or CineSamples, anything like that, that just takes a lot of CPU, you'll notice that sometimes things start to get delayed. And even though you've got your buffer right, you've got low latency turned on, it's still not working correctly. So let me jump right into the program here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I've got Cinematic Studio Strings pulled up here. And as you can see, I've got 128. My buffer size is 128. I'm gonna turn low latency on and then let's go ahead and record something uh, just so we have something to play with. All right, really simple pattern. I'm not a great keys player, but you don't need to be for this. Let's go ahead and quantize these. We'll take that last guy out. We don't need that. We'll take low latency off. Let's listen. Okay, as you can hear, it's just not right. There's something wrong. And I can prove it to you by bouncing this out. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. As you can see here, the note that was bounced out, the actual wave file, looks like it's about a 30 second of a note off from where the MIDI file starts. Here's how we fix that. So let's go back to the MIDI file. We'll unmute that. We'll go ahead and mute this wave because we don't need this now. That was just a test. Let's just delete it. All right, now what we do is we go over here to the uh, region inspector. We hit more and we click these arrows next to delay. Now what this does is it will push or pull your sound coming out of your VST. So let's go down, let's find 30 second, and then let's go ahead and listen and see what happens. And that's it. It's literally that simple. I can't believe that it took me so long to figure that out. Oh man, if this is something that you use in your productions, leave a comment. If this is helpful, make sure you let me know and make sure that you stick around because I've got plenty more videos coming your way with more audio production tips.